Hey everyone, James Lynch here doing a quick reaction video to the news that UFC 311 has its main event and it's the worst kept secret in the world. It's going to be Islam Makhachev and Armin Saryukin, the rematch. Finally announced, thank God. I was a little worried for a second there when they hadn't mentioned it because we're coming up to also a month away from this card, believe it or not. And the other big fight they finally added, Murad Velshvili, Umar Nurmagomedov. Thank God this fight's booked as well. It was the fight to make. Everyone wants to see it. Um, yeah, no complaints here. I mean, this is a great way to start, uh, you know, the next year as far as the first pay-per-view of the year. And you've already got Jamal Hill and Yuri Prohaska on there as well. We'll talk about that fight in a second. But uh, man, are they ever coming out guns a-blazing uh, to start this year off? That card going to be taking place like you see there at the Intuit Dome um, in Los Angeles. So uh, really, really good card. Let's start first with the Islam and Armin rematch. Again, we all knew this was going to happen. Quick tale of the tape between these two. Uh, 33 years old for Islam. Uh, he is 5'10 with a 70.5 inch reach. Armin is uh, 28 years old, 5'7 with a 72.5 inch reach. So Armin going to have the reach advantage. He's also younger, but Islam going to be a little bit taller. And if you remember their first fight took place, when was it? A couple of years ago on short notice for both guys, right? Because Islam was supposed to fight someone else. So Ar Armin steps in and that was back in 2019. And Armin lives to tell the story of going the distance with Islam Makhachev. A lot of fighters don't. So um, really, really excited for this fight. And then on the other side, we got Murab and Umar. And uh, listen, I know people aren't a fan of what Murab said, but you can't say the guy's ducking if he's fighting Umar next. Okay, can we get rid of that narrative? Let's put that behind us. Um, listen, I'm not a fan of what Murab said in the media, but... Um, this fight is finally happening again the ufc makes the fights not marab marab you can see they're 33 years old um he is uh five foot six with a 68 inch reach umar namagamadov 28 years old five foot eight with a 69 inch reach so slight reach advantage there for uh umar and he's also going to be a little bit taller in this spot i'll do early looks on both these fights i'll probably get those done actually over the holiday season because this is almost a month away uh from this card early pick on this one i'm going islam makashev i don't think there's any secret there i don't think anyone in the division right now is going to beat him i think armin will hit, give him a good test um but i think that ultimately islam will probably win i'm going to lean decision on that one just like the last fight and then as far as umar and uh and, and marab um i've mentioned this fight many times on my streams uh, I think Murab is going to end up losing this fight. I think Umar is going to take this one possibly by, well, most likely by decision. I, I think that's how it's it's going to work. Um, I think Umar's striking is going to be the difference. I think the grappling kind of cancels each other out. Obviously, Murab's going to have a bit of a cardio advantage, but we saw Umar go five rounds in his last fight against Corey Sanag. And so I think Umar uh, will become the new bantamweight champ. And I think Islam will retain his title as well. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, I mean, I think everyone agrees these were the fights to make. What are your early picks? Anyone here? Let's put it this way. Anyone going Armin? Anyone going uh, Marab in this fight? Because I think most people are going to be leaning the way I'm leaning on these car on these fights. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like I said, I'll do more in-depth breakdowns on both these fights in the coming weeks. Uh, just happy they're made and happy the UFC finally uh, is making this happen. So follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at Lynch on Sports. My name is James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.